Barbara First Element Hydrogen Station with the uh, press drive of the all-new Clarity fuel cell uh, vehicle. This particular station opened last fall, summer. Um, it delivers hydrogen at an industry st standard of 10,000 PSI or 70 MPA. It's 24-7 access. It's credit card accessible and the fueling time is three to five minutes just like a gasoline car. The price of hydrogen from this dispenser is $16.50 per kilogram. Several industry uh, companies have recently announced some price reductions. This is all toward mass acceptance of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles with scale, with more vehicles coming into the market. The uh, volume per station will go up and the prices will come down. Actually, it's, it's more uh, related with filling a compressed natural gas vehicle because it's compressed hydrogen under pressure. Once you swipe your credit card and basically answer a question like, do you want a receipt or not? It prompts you to say, connect the nozzle to the vehicle. You connect the nozzle to the vehicle, again, in a very simple motion, just like a gasoline vehicle, and lift the lever. It starts flowing hydrogen when the car's full. It then shuts off, put the nozzle back up there, gets your receipt and good to go. So when you lease the vehicle, it includes up to $15,000 worth of uh, payment for fuel. And the reason for that is the price of hydrogen is higher today. So we're going to take that out of the equation from a, let's just say, purchase or lease decision. And that amount of money will really cover, depending on how aggressively a person drives in their fuel economy, anywhere from 15 to 20,000 miles worth of uh, 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 distance per year. So right now, the state of California is committed to uh, fund the first 100 stations. We have 26 stations open today in Southern California, Northern California, and a station halfway between so people can drive between Northern and Southern California if they want to. With a recent announcement of uh, additional 16 stations awarded by the state just in the last month, now there's uh, 66 stations that are either open or in permitting or under construction or under commissioning. So we're 66 stations toward that 100 number. At that point, individuals, gas station owners can get in the business of bringing hydrogen to the public.